Okay, welcome back to RimWorld episode 8. And we are dealing with the engine of hatred this episode. If you remember in the last episode we had the ship parts land and it is slowly driving all of our colonists insane as you can see. It's it's one of its most common actions is to just randomly immediately um, drive a particular colonist, a random, a random colonist insane. And it's very, very annoying. Um, <laughs> you have to be very quick with your um, arresting. So you need to rearrest them, then bring them back. So make sure you have space to arrest people. There we go, there's another guy. See, he was doctoring and then he's just he just went nuts. It was like, screw this. <laughs> He just, he had the plate of food, whatever, threw it in his face. <laughs> it looks like we're being attacked. We're trying to build this uh, kill zone for the, um, so we can take things out, because we don't have a lot of weapons at the moment. Uh, oh. <laughs> looks like I had to reload. Rather strange, those people turned uh, friendly and went away. That's weird. I didn't know that happened. Anyway. So yeah, we've got a couple of people who are in bed now because of this. Of our people going nuts and fighting us. But we are progressing on our construction of the kill zone. Um, again, this has to happen pretty quickly. We don't want this thing to hang around too long. So it will step up to the next level of Psychic Drone. You don't see it in the effects, where the effects normally show up. For what the weather is and stuff, but there is an effect at the moment causing everyone to be... to go slightly insane. And it just it just pushes some of them over the edge. That doesn't help that we're being attacked by boom rats. <laughs> and, okay, there's another person gone down. It's another reason as well to disarm your um, people when they do go insane or what before so like when you're not being attacked by anything just get everyone to stow their weapons in the um, storage that way you, you know they don't have a minigun for instance or something like that or power armor power armor is one of those things which is great to get and if you lose it you, you know you're not in the best of situations in the late game in late game it's good to have, like, uh, I have basically a kill squad of, you know, hunters and stuff which basically are outfitted with power armor. Here we go building some sandbags because we decided that too many turrets is probably not going to be as effective. Don't think anyone else gets turned and gone uh, sent insane yet. Maybe, maybe they don't. I don't know. It's a scientist. It's gone insane. Ah, so the ship parts emanating a more intense pulse. Ah, final turret is complete. We'll gather all the colonists up and arm them, at least with the small amount of weapons we have. I always look for the people who have the best uh, shooting skill to pick uh, the best weapons. Um, I tend to give terrible wep like weapons like pistols to the um, people who don't have very good shooting skill. We'll set up uh, automatic weapons uh, in front as much as possible so that they get the most amount and we'll make a turret attack. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was a pretty easy one. Only one mechanoid came out of that. See, that's, that's, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting at least a, a squad of five. Given how many colonists I have and how many turrets I have, I thought the game scaled based on those. But it doesn't seem like it does. 
So anyway, we'll deconstruct this entire area because we need those resources for other things like the ship. And now the great thing is we have the core. We have the AI core, which is the thing we need to get to space and get out of this, get off of this rock. So it looks like we've managed to get another colonist. We'll just make another room for them. I'm not sure what the rules are on the size of rooms, but um, I always try to build them so they have the spacious interior uh, perk when they're sleeping. So it helps a lot when you have the psychic dr drone affecting all your colonists. If your colonists are all sleeping together in a dirty room uh, or cramped, then they will most likely revolt and go insane and kill you. <laughs> oh, it looks like, see, this is exactly the, one of those points. We've got a male uh, psychic drone, which is affecting all the males in our colony. And you can see here that the, there's a high psychic drone. This guy's gonna go insane if we're not careful. That's exactly why you try to make your colony as nice looking as possible. See, I'm, I'm here, I'm preparing for. Uh, yeah, I arrested him before he uh, went insane. Which is something you can do, it prevents them from going nuts. Well, apparently not. <laughs> oh, he died! Oh. oh well. Like I said, don't get too attached to colonists, they're probably all gonna die. <laughs> okay, setting up our final production um, schedule. Bills, I suppose. We still don't have a huge amount of colonists. We're gonna need a lot more. Looks like our stockpile's filling up too. We're gonna have to expand that. We'll do the final research for the ship. Oh, the final few bits, bits of research for the ship. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Just need to build up a lot more metal uh, reserves. It's, it's, oh, you see, yeah. It's, you get this problem where your stockpile gets full and they don't haul things anymore. So we've got all those resources lying outside which we could keep inside and it's just all stuck. Because they can't take it anywhere. Yep, our good old defense uh, is doing pretty damn good. <laughs> there's not really much more you can do. Um, there's an, another game I'm playing at the moment where it's uh, I'm playing on the uh, a couple of difficulties above this one, and this this pattern does still work. But you need to, as the game progresses, you need to amp it up significantly. Because you start getting attacked by about 30 plus um, raiders at a time, and tons of mechanoids, and it's ridiculous. On the other hand, I, uh, in that playthrough I do have at least uh, 15 to 20 colonists uh, with power armor and miniguns. <laughs> Still very tense, very tense game. Considering the game is so simple, you can get some very tense moments in it. I think they're trying to prevent this game from becoming a bit too tower defensey though. So I think this the, the tactics I'm using at the moment will probably stop working once they modify their AI to attack walls and try to avoid defense zones. But before, if, if that does happen, I'm speculating here, but I would like them to figure out a, um, a fog of war mode so that they can't see that you have defenses, so that they're not just going to be able to see everything and avoid it just all the time, because that would just be really annoying, because it would be the point building defenses, you'd have to, have to build them everywhere, um, which would be 
pretty impossible. Uh, more boomerats and raiders. So our biggest problem, boomerats. I hate them. It's going to explode. Take out that damn wire. I don't know why I have this person set up here. Oh no. One of our colonists has turned against us. And I just gave them the minigun. Can you believe that? <laughs> Luckily, if they try to escape, they go through our kill zone. And I gave the minigun to one of our people. Can't believe that. That's an event which is very rare. They just turn on you. And that's it, you know. <laughs> oh well, we'll take these people and crewmate them. No point keeping them around, making our colonists all sad. So Lincoln has been incapacitated forever because he has a his leg has been cut off or something. So he's going to remain in that hospital bed forever and just be cared for, which is a shame. There needs to be... It, it would be really nice if there was a way to restore some mobility to your colonists. But it is kind of cool that they can just be screwed like that and that's it. Then you have to make horrible decisions like uh, having keeping them around and caring for them. Or just ending their misery. <laughs> Well, perhaps it would be nice if you could build wheelchairs. Oh, next, next session. Go through a couple of sessions, apparently. Poor old Lincoln. So we want to get our trading set up as well. I I tend to build a couple of specialized zones for things like silver there, uh, of you know. Of particular sizes because you don't want to put too much in there so if you want to trade in metal um, you don't want to put all of your metal in there you just want to maybe have like four squares of it there I don't know how much that is per square now that way you um, only trade what you have in surplus We also want to move the collected uh, weapons, raw, raw weapons like shells and missiles, because we don't need them. So we want to get an R4 charge rifle. Nice. The uh, charge rifles are extremely good at killing mechanoids. And anything, really. So we're moving some of our food from our stock main stockpile into the um, trading stockpile. So we can just um, get rid of some of that and earn some more silver so we can buy more weapons and continue building our armada, our um, arsenal. It does look like that zone's a bit too big though, we probably will change it. We're finally going to move our nutrient paste uh, dispenser inside and make this just a nice little room. Just an emergency room, really, because we don't need a nutrient paste dispenser anymore. So we got some visitors. They're not really doing a whole lot, though. I wish the visitors to your colony did, did something a bit more interesting than just sort of hang around and wander off. It would be interesting if they caused a bit of trouble, maybe. Um, they did something funny. I've tried giving tribute to to them, and oh, the best you can do is call them for uh, assistance, which is kind of cool, but also a bit odd because you give them tribute to get uh, notoriety with them but when you call them you lose notori notoriety so that's interesting i don't think that should really be the case because you're just like okay i need some help 
come come and help us and why would that take your notoriety down it'd be more like if the more of them that die then then the more notoriety you lose with them maybe also a way of avoiding friendly fire when you have that happen like when you have a group of of um, colonists help you also we're close to losing a um, well, we're close to losing Grim again. Grim doesn't have a high threshold for uh, sanity, unfortunately. Sometimes it's worth just getting rid of those kinds of people. See, not even grenades and stuff are, are good enough to take us out. Here we go, starting to uh, strip are um, the raiders who are attacking us. We probably should have been doing that from the beginning, but I've kind of forgot that was a new mechanic. Um, if you do that, you get to... You get, if you build up enough armored vests and things like that, then you can really cut out your colonists and they'll survive a lot more deadly attacks. You mainly want to stop them from taking damage, like critical damage that disables them entirely. Like Lincoln, who's stuck in that bed. He's just going to be there forever until we decide we don't want to care for him anymore or we can't afford to. They are very easy to get rid of, though. You just... you kick him out of the bed. <laughs> and then he'll just starve. <laughs> Which is pretty evil, but... Also efficient. <laughs> you think about it, you're wasting food on someone who's not gonna be not contributing anymore to the colony and the colony's all about survival. It's harsh, but it's the truth. And to be honest, he can't escape with us because you can't make someone pick him up and move him somewhere, which is unfortunate. It'd be nice if we could pick him up, take him to a stasis pod on the ship, and then fly off with him. That'd be nice. Just some cave people attacking us. I think we'll try and capture one. Trying to keep my colonists out of there because while those turrets are firing, they can attack my colonists as well, which sucks. So we're moving Lincoln back to his regular bed. And all of our power's gone. <laughs> uh, that sucks. I'll make room for more people. Alright, well, looks like my time is up. Thank you very much for joining me uh, play RimWorld, and I'll see you next time.